Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. Last August, John Falks told his wife he planned to kill himself. The former law enforcement officer was in constant pain after his doctor had abruptly cut off the twice-a-day Oxycontin that had helped him endure excruciating back pain from a motorcycle crash almost two decades ago that had left him nearly paralyzed despite multiple surgeries. I came into the office one day and he said, you have to find another doctor. You can't come here anymore, Falks, 58, recalled. The doctor gave him one last prescription and sent him away. Like many Americans with chronic, disabling pain, Falks felt angry and betrayed as state and federal regulators, starting in the Obama years and intensifying under President Donald Trump, cracked down on opioid prescribing to reduce the toll of overdose deaths. Hundreds of patients responding to a Politico reader survey told similar stories of being suddenly refused prescriptions for medications they'd relied on for years sometimes just to get out of bed in the morning and left to suffer untreated pain on top of withdrawal symptoms like vomiting and insomnia. I was pretty much thrown to the curb, said Denise Pascal, 65, who had taken pain meds for decades after six back surgeries. Then her pain doctor cut her off and closed her practice without connecting her with another specialist. Many of Politico's respondents described being tapered off narcotics too quickly, or worse, turned away by doctors and left to navigate on their own. Some said they coped by using medical marijuana or CBD oil, an extract from marijuana or hemp plants, others turned to illicit street drugs despite the fear of buying fentanyl-laced heroin linked to soaring overdose death numbers. A few, like Falks, contemplated suicide. I sat my wife down and told her life wasn't worth it, Falks said after he had gone more than a month without pain relief while also suffering opioid withdrawal symptoms. My pain exceeded my ability to handle it. We had a very frank discussion. We even discussed what gun I would use.